Let's do a warm up standing up today. So we're going to start with our arms close into the side of our body and keeping them as close as you can and doing little shrugs with the shoulders, taking the shoulders back and bringing them down. So you're doing this kind of depression, elevation and roll. Keep the core tucked in and don't arch the back. So you want to try and keep the glutes engaged and really work on just the shoulders getting the mobility here. So little shrugs and rolling back. Now you take them forward, so little shrugs and take them forward. You can see my arms are close to the body and that way it means that I'm getting the mobilisation through the spine. If I move the arms too far away from the body, the spine loses the mobility. Four more. Three more. Two more. And one more. Good. Now let's just clasp our hands and roll through the wrists. When you do this, you want to really think about the palm pushing on top of the other palm. And then rotating through the wrist as you do it. So you'll feel it all the way down through the wrists, into the elbows and into the shoulder. And then we'll roll it back the other way. Okay, nice mobility through the wrists. That's going to help us when we start supporting our body on our hands so that the wrists have had a warm up. And then we'll do this, rolling through into snakes. I'm going to kneel down while I do this because that will get me ready for the next exercise for our neck and now roll back the other way rolling through so pushing one hand on top of the other into this wrist roll two more last one now on this kneeling position keep your shoulder blades down and back chin tucked in and we're going to work through the neck so look as far as you can to the side and then drop the chin down onto the clavicle and we'll scoop it round and then roll the head back in circles so you want to try and do this without moving anything but the head and the neck so it's nice big circular motion with the head Getting the neck into that mobility. One more this way and getting into a nice circular motion into all of the joint of the neck. I'll go the other way now. So now you'll look the other way and drop the chin down and go back the other way. If you feel pain doing these, don't go so deep on the stretch, but if you feel like you can just mobilise the neck all the way into every aspect of the circle, then do that. Try to keep everything still. And you're going to hear clicks and crunches. My neck makes a lot of noise when I do this. And that's normal. And release. Now we're going to mobilise through our shoulder, so open the palm, thumb pointing out, and we're going to take the arm up into this nice rotation. This is called a cars. Turn the palm, thumb points down, keep turning so the knuckles come into the side and then take it away. And palm open across the body to the front and down, and again. So we lift the palm up. Again, I'm trying not to move the rest of my body. I'm trying to keep the other shoulder still here and then pull it back away. And I don't want the hips to get involved either. One more rep, lift it up and turn. Again, you're gonna feel clicking and crunching maybe. So you're taking your joint into a full range of motion here. Okay, let's do the other side. Palm up, lift, and recognize, does one side feel easier than the other? One side might feel really different. I know when I do these, my left side is a lot tighter because I've got an old niggle there. 
lots of us have had stuff going on with our shoulders in the past and this is a brilliant exercise to keep your shoulder joint healthy. Cars, controlled articular rotations. Last one. Good. Okay, shake it up. Now just open up through the chest like that. That's it. And we'll stand up and step tap into this, getting into the chest. And now hold the arms out and then just reach to the right and reach to the left. So I'm just reaching with the palm pushed out. I'm not moving my feet at all. I'm just reaching into that stretch. And, uh, and now go into this hinge and open up through your back. Definitely getting warmer now. Might be able to take my socks off soon. So it's always good to just keep all your clothes on while you're warming up because you will get warm very quickly. Release. Now put the hands up to here and rotate. Exhale as you turn, lifting off the toes as you turn. So we're doing lots of warm up for the upper body here today. We will warm up the lower body as well because we want to warm up the spine. Two more. Last one. Good. Now we'll go into this hinge. Slightly bent knees, neutral spine, cat cows from here, rolling through the back. And exhale. On the push, exhale, and inhale, release. Exhale, and inhale, release. Exhale, and inhale, release. Two more. And release. And one more. And release. And then just hang forward, floppy arms, soft knees and sway side to side. Just to get the back mobilized a little bit here. Okay, and then we're going to try and go down into a deep ache. If you can't get this low, don't worry. You can go to where you want, but use your arms to push back on the, uh, on the knees and then drop forward into your hamstring stretch. So we'll go into your deep ape, and then drop forward into your hamstrings. We'll do five more, and then drop. Four more. Drop. Three more. If you want the heels down for these, and drop, two more, keep the back nice and long, and drop in hamstring, and then one more. Okay. Now just open up through your hips, try and keep the hips facing forward, just take the knee in and out into this opener for the hips. Uh, two more and one more okay shake it off go down into this kneeling lunge and tilt the pelvis under and squeeze your butt cheek we're working through this hip flexor here stretching reach up with the arm of the leg that's behind you and exhale as you reach away Two more, and one more, and then you can go forward and back, working through your groin and your hips, keep the front heel on the floor, just working through that ankle flexion, and knees and hips, this works a lot. Two more, and one more, good, swap it over, so now we've got here, squeeze the butt under, tight hold it you'll feel the front of the hip and the thigh switch on lift the arm 
Exhale, reach. If you need to hold on to something, that's fine. Exhale. Three more. Two more. And one more. And we're going to work through this side. So you want to keep the heel down that's in front. And working through the knee tracking over the toes. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Good. And come up. Shake off the arms. Shake off the legs. And you're ready to do a workout. And I'm ready to take my socks off and my sweatshirt. So I'm thoroughly warmed up. Hope you enjoyed that warm up. <laughs>